Hey winners, oh, welcome to my channel. I am Winnie and today is my birthday. Go Winnie, it's your birthday. We go party like it's your birthday. I am filming this on the 27th of October. Today is my birthday. Wasn't even planning on filming anything, but I just had the urge while I was chilling to just be like, you know what, let me film a quick certain certain very impromptu, right? If this is the first time you're watching a video of mine. Welcome to this channel, by the way. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you're notified every single time that I upload. YouTube has informed me that at least 80% of people that watch me are not subscribed to this channel. And I cannot emphasize how important it is for y'all to be subscribed and join the winning family. As I'm currently filming this, we are on 11,995 subscribers. Soon touch 12K. Um, which is something I wanted to aim for. I can't lie. I was thinking I'm gonna hit 12k by my birthday, but you know what? Only five more people left. I'm very confident that by the time I've put this video out We'll be over 12,000 subscribers anyway um, If you're an oldie you've come back to watch this face of mine. Thank you so much for the love and support And I want to use this opportunity to thank every single one of y'all for watching me liking my content commenting sharing Supporting me in any shape or form because without y'all I would not be here Right today's my birthday and I wanted to take this opportunity instead of doing my usual lot of content although I have had a fresh free twist. I got it done yesterday and I stuck to my word. I am not styling my locks for the foreseeable. Um, it's not styled. It's just that I so happen just to just loosely tie it up and get it out of my face. But my hairline is looking healthy, guys. Uh, so plant made appears to be working well with me. But y'all peep the nails. Got my nails did today. Uh, 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 orange is giving holiday vibes because your girl's going away tomorrow. Where am I going to? You're asking. Okay, you will find out in due time. Not in this video though, but the next video, it will all come together. Um, but I thought I'd use this opportunity to basically talk to y'all that every single time your birthday is around the corner, it's a downer for you. Like, it's a time that you're not looking forward to. It's a time that stresses you out. It's a time that you start to feel more scared and all of that. As y'all can probably tell, I'm hella excited. And I've noticed over the years, for me, I don't fear aging. Um, I hope I don't offend anybody with what I'm about to say, but I find that fearing aging just doesn't make an ounce of sense to me because it is a part of life and it is something that cannot be avoided. We all age. So why not just embrace the fact that you are becoming more wiser, more experienced, more in tune with yourself because essentially each year that you're blessed with, that's what is happening and that's how I see it. The person I am today is not the person that I was like five years ago, six years ago, even a year ago. And I'm very grateful for that. And I find that the older that I get, the more that I'm more in tune with myself, things that I used to worry about and used to be concerned about that in a grand scheme of things doesn't matter, I no longer care about. And so in turn, it makes me feel very at peace, at ease, and I'm just living life in a way that basically appeals to me. So I say all of this just to say, I think it's very normal when you're approaching a new age to be re very reflective. Naturally, I find that anytime my birthday is around the corner, like at least about a week or two weeks before, I'm very reflective. Like I reflect on how the past year has been, the highs, the lows, what I've learned in each and every single moment because let's be for real in every single moment in life whether it's positive or negative there is something to be experienced there is something for you to learn right and i think that it's very important when going into a new chapter of your life e.g a new age you use this opportunity to think and write down your thoughts what would you like for the next chapter of your life to entail? How can you improve yourself as a person? And when I say improve yourself, it's not just necessarily just for yourself. Like I'm very big on self improvement. I will kind of look back and be like, okay, so this is what's happened over the last year. 
How have I handled certain situations? How could I have handled certain situations a bit better? Because none of us are 100%. There's quite a few situations that I've handled over the past year in quite rubbish manners, um, if I'm honest. Um, so I take all of that on board and I say to myself, okay, cool, like going forward, what person, who do I want to be or what kind of person do I want to be? How do I want to handle things better? If things are not serving a purpose for me, how do I voice that before walking away from certain situations instead of sometimes just ghosting certain situations? I say all of this just to say, you turning a new age is an opportunity for you to make your life better, period. That's just how I see it. No matter how small the changes that you make can be, those small changes can still make a massive improvement to your life, yeah? And I find that in general, generally speaking, and it also depends on like cultures and yada yada, society and blah, blah, blah. You're kind of made to feel that as a woman, when you're getting older and you reach a certain age, then, you know, you're expired and life goes downhill and you shouldn't have fun. And as a woman, your life should be a certain way. And you feel that you haven't hit society's successful ways of how a woman should be. F all of that. <laughs> Forget all of that. This is your chance for you to work on becoming a better person for yourself and not just for yourself, for those around you, your friends, your family, your work colleagues. How can you improve yourself internally? What do you have to offer the world? So instead of like sitting around and saying things like, oh my gosh, I'm 29 and I'm gonna be 30 next week. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so old. How did life just fly by? No, it is a blessing. It is a blessing because there are many people that do not have the opportunity to see the age that you have just turned, the age that you have become. Some people don't even get to experience the age that you have just enjoyed for the last year. So see this as a blessing and welcome this new chapter with open arms. Do not feel pressurized to be a certain way. Um, I'm going to share a little bit of uh, background things with me. I'm very active on TikTok, well, maybe not so much the past couple of days. And at least every day I receive a good couple of comments from men or from trolls talking about, you need a brand, you need to marry, you need to have kids, you're expiring, yada yada. And I could not care less. Um, because... What strangers say online about me, I really do not care. Most of the time, I find that these comments are from a place from projection because when you actually go and look at the profiles of these said people, you can tell that they are either living very unhappy, unfulfilling lives, or they just don't have any content whatsoever, so you know that they've created the profile, just to troll people that are living their lives. Um, and they seem to be triggered by the fact that their ideologies that they hold, other people like myself don't live by them so i said i share all of this just to say that in this life people are gonna have something to say about you not everybody's gonna like you not everybody's gonna have positive vibes and positive energy and positive thoughts in regards to what you're doing or you as a person but it is, it is very important that as each day comes along and as we are on this journey called life you start to become more in tune with yourself and in order to be more in tune with yourself you need to be experienced in this journey of life. You need to see each day as a blessing and you need to see each age as a blessing. So I am forever excited. And also I feel like, yeah, since I hit 30 and a lot of people have this thing about when they're turning 30, they're, they're full of like fear, they're full of worry, they're scared, they see themselves of old as old. For me, it was the complete opposite. Like, as I was approaching 30, I was very excited. Everyone would be like, oh my gosh, when you're turning 30 soon, like, how do you feel? I felt amazing, yeah? I felt amazing, because I said to people, I said, I have a feeling that 30s and onwards are gonna be the best years of my life. Because how, how is it not? The older that you get, yeah, the more wiser that you become, the more in tune with yourself that you become, the more you can look back 
on certain experiences and work out how you can deal with them better should they arise the more you kind of figure out how can you be a best like a good friend how can you be a good family member how can you be a good work colleague how can you just be a general good person overall and also how can you contribute to the world no matter how small it may be for me i feel like one of my many contributions to the world at present is what i say when i jump in front of a camera whether i'm talking about a lock video whether i'm talking about my life experiences on tiktok whether i'm sharing the fact that i find that a lot of people want to showcase misogynistic comments towards me because i am a woman and so they feel some type of way about the fact that i am a single woman and i speak about me being single and me being at peace although i never stand here and bash men because that is not my bag at all and that is very unnecessary however i still deal with all of these negative comments and other things that life throws at me the same way that you know you also deal with things that life throws at you and i'm still here however my contribution to the world is i'm still going to be doing my content and i'm still going to be talking whether people like it or not and at the end of the day i always see it as if you weren't going places, people wouldn't be so rattled. Do you know what I mean? There is no person, in my opinion, who is quote unquote successful, yeah? Or in the public eye and is well known for what they currently do that who didn't endure some sort of negativity, people putting them down, people not believing in them, people not believing in their dreams, yada yada, but they still, were focused on achieving their goals regardless of their current circumstances they were still focused on achieving their goals and making things happen for them um and so that's the energy that i want us all to have there is nothing scary about getting older embrace it it's a part of life it is a beautiful journey and it also allows to and it also allows for you to make life what you want it to be because you will find that the older that you get the less you start the less you focus on things that don't matter and the more that you start focusing on things that do matter and things that do make you happy and i can't lie i don't want to make a really long-winded video but yeah my heart just felt compelled to make a video to say don't be scared of aging like do not it's a blessing give thanks to god that you are getting older be thankful for your life, be thankful for the fact you can watch this video, you have a house, all the little blessings, food, water, everything that you have. Be thankful, be blessed, and work on how you can contribute to the world and make the world a better place. But yeah, like I said, I am flying out tomorrow. I'm not gonna tell y'all where, okay? But you're gonna see the vlogs. Like, I don't even know what kind of vlog I'm gonna be doing at this specific place. But what I will say is it's somewhere that I have been wanting to go to for years. So I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. <laughs> but yeah, guys, listen, until my next video, I'm not take care, be good.